Hello and welcome to the second part of the layers tutorials for the beginner Photoshop tutorial series. We left the last tutorial with something that looked like this, which was basically um, a few layers split up and a layer group called rectangles. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at a couple of other things you can do with layers, which will really help them to stand out and will really be useful in your designs. So what we're going to do is click on layer, new layer, and we're going to click this button, use previous layer to create a clipping mask. Now a clipping mask is something really useful, I'm going to call this one clip. And you'll notice that now um, this layer has been put inside the rectangles layer, but has a small arrow next to it pointing down to the green rectangle layer. And the green rectangle layer has become highlighted. Now, I'll show you what this means. If I press B to click on the brush tool and I change the color to red, let's say I wanted to, uh, I'm just going to reduce the diameter, I want to paint uh, a bit of this green rectangle. Well, I could go on the green rectangle and paint it myself and then, you know, try and erase some of it and try and get it perfect and, you know, stay within the lines. But there's a much easier way. If instead I click on the clip layer and I paint, you'll notice that no matter where I go, I could be painting here and here and here, over here, or anywhere else in the design. All that will show, and in fact you can see here by looking at the thumbnail that I've, that I've actually painted a lot, but all that will show is what is in the area of the green rectangle layer. So this area will show here. Now this is of course an immensely useful tool if you want to, for example, as I've done, use the, uh, use the clipping layer for finer details like a feathered brush and use the, uh, use the clipped layer for um, a, a, a much more sort of basic shape to create a canvas on. Now, of course, um, Photoshop being Photoshop, it doesn't stop here. It actually gets a lot smarter because it recognizes that this is the drawing that I've done. And if I click on the green rectangle layer, and uh, I'm just going to go back to the green color, and I add another green rectangle, for example, here, you will see that it, it puts these designs that I've drawn on onto the green rectangle. So the clipping layer in that respect still remembers what uh, uh, what's going on with with the layers that are interacting with each other. If you want to stop the clipping mask, simply drag upwards or downwards and remove the layer, and then you will see that the layer um, goes off the, off the clip and is no longer clipped. And I've just pressed Control Z and then uh, sorry Command Z and then Command Alt Z or Command Control Z and Control Alt Z to go back two steps. So that's another thing you can do with layers, which is really useful. And of course, um, the, the placement of the layers affects which which is seen on top. So because the black layer is below the green, uh, it will be shown uh, below the green. And if I put the black layer on top, it would be shown as such. So that's one other really useful thing that you can do with layers. And to do a quick practical example of how that might work, because of course something like this is just something that I've done very quickly and uh, may not work in practice, if I don't show any of my rectangle layers and I click on text to create uh, some text and uh, which by the way you will notice that creating text um, automatically creates a new layer if I click and create text for example I say a rainbow and uh, I just need to make the text color black so that it shows and I increase the size I'm just going to delete this other text layer which is not in use um, I could then create a new layer and call this, for example, gradient. I can then take my gradient layer and paint onto it a gradient. So, for example, here I'm just using pressing G to access the gradient tool and just creating the gradient. And then I can create the clipping mask. Now there are two ways to do this. The first is by hovering in between the two layers here, so between rainbow and gradient, holding alt and waiting till I see those two um, circles that have formed a Venn diagram with a little arrow and clicking once. 
and that will put the gradient layer in between or I can right click on gradient and I can click create clipping mask which will then mask this layer around the rainbow text and as you can see the text layer is underlined to show that um, it has actually been clipped by the layer on top of it and we have the arrow and the indentation on the gradient layer to show that it is, clip that it is clipping the underlined layer. So that's another really useful thing that you should use as much as possible when using layers. Um, clipping is a very useful tool and can provide a lot of ways to get around, um, for example, trying to do quite precise things within, within layers. So I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and in another layers tutorial I'm going to be showing you about layer styles. So until then, bye bye.